The fuel cap assembly consists of a vented cap, the O-ring seal, and a cap retainer. There are a few problems that could be caused by the fuel cap. Leaking gas can be caused by a cracked or missing O-ring, or the cap itself is cracked. If your engine runs for 10 or so minutes and then dies, and won't restart until it has sat for a while, you might have a bad cap vent. The vent allows air back into the fuel tank as the fuel level drops. If air can't get in, a vacuum forms, and the fuel will stop flowing to the carburetor. Replacing the fuel cap is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Socha. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the old cap from the fuel tank. I'll pull the lanyard from the tank. Now I can install the new cap assembly. I'll bend the lanyard so I can insert it into the tank. And then I'll thread the cap back onto the tank. And that's how simple it is to install a new fuel cap on your small engine. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.